I was doing um, The Hurricane uh, with Denzel Washington in New York in uh, 98. And Zaki was working on a HBO picture, Studio 54. And our offices, production offices, were equidistant from this uh, steakhouse. And so we would meet at around midnight at this steakhouse and have a late dinner and a bottle of wine. And the last real conversation that I had with Zaki, he, for whatever reason, uh, felt compelled to share with me this very detailed vision that he had for what a film school ought to be. And he said none of them actually prepare anyone to be the kind of filmmaker that he wanted to be, which was a very, very independent filmmaker. And so he had it planned out down to equipment that would be bought, class size, what would happen on every day of the week in terms of days of instruction. And I, didn't th I thought it was an interesting idea, but I have to admit I didn't give it much more than thought. I wasn't about to set up a film school, and neither was he. And unfortunately, that was our last conversation of any depth. Um, after the accident that took his life, I wanted to give scholarships. I thought that would be the way that I would memorialize him. I was on a plane going to my cousin's wedding in Canada. I was seated next to a woman who was with Yavapai College in the cultural park here. We got to talking and I said, why are you going to Canada? And she said, I want to see their cultural park. I said, I've never heard that term. What is a cultural park? And she said, we have one in Sedona. We have a big amphitheater. We're going to have elder learning. And we have a bit of a problem because we got this building. And she said, we stupidly said we'd give them a film school. And she said, the problem is we don't know anything about film schools. We don't know why anyone would want to come to a film school that we would create. And I simply pitched Zaki's vision. And she said, this sounds really great. Can you be in Sedona in two weeks? I said, absolutely. And I came here and I said, I want to set up here at the Zaki Gordon Institute for Independent Filmmaking. She said, I'm going to help you make this a reality. And on action, everybody. One, two, three, action. I'm Stefan Scheltze, and I'm the director of the Zaki Gordon Institute. I got the film school started back in 2000, and when Dan and I were, were talking about this, is every student gets to make their movie. This is not just about you crewing up on someone else's movie. This is about you having a calling card at the end of the day with your film. You don't want to give an actor a lot of things to focus on other than their performance. I know what we're doing. I'm waiting for something to be done. That was one of our strengths when we started, was that we had this unique curriculum where it was real hands-on and they were shooting a different scene every week and everybody's changing roles. And I think we were probably one of the first to do that. It was a big deal when we started doing that because when we'd have students researching schools on the internet, they couldn't find one like us. And when they'd stumble across us, that they knew that was right for them. Yeah, <laughs> um, it's, it's, it's looking good. It really, uh, like I said, I like the energy. And I first got involved at the Zaki Gordon Institute in 2000, when it first opened, as an actor for the student films. It's going to be a lot of fun. I just can't wait to know what I'm wearing. I watched people struggle to understand filmmaking at all, to understand what they were doing and be confident as an artist or as a storyteller. And then to see what they would pull off at the end of nine months was just incredible. The most important attribute to a student is that they want to make films when they leave. They want to be a filmmaker and they want to continue putting their best foot forward making that happen. And that's what we want to see here. You know, that, that's exactly what I needed to hear from, from a film school. 
to, to convince me to do it. You know, it's not a flash or anything. It just tells you basically what it does is it just puts it all in your hands and you do it. And that's what I liked about it. You're going to sink or swim in filmmaking. You're not going to talk about it for three years and then get to do it in your last year. You're going to do it in your third week. You're going to be out there doing it. You're going to have one week to make a little film and you're going to do that eight times and you're going to learn about it. I wasn't that scared. I was just excited. I was tickled pink. I couldn't wait to get in there and get going. My proudest moment was the first week when, uh, when we shot and we edited and we had our first final product and it was like, in, and I haven't been into technology all that much in my life so I didn't know if I'd like that side of it but I ended up really liking the editing side and I think coming out with the finished product was, was something that I felt really good about. I found it very interesting and I look at the history of the school and the founder and the people involved in the school, everybody's from Hollywood, professional. I felt this is exactly what you know, can work for me. The equipment is just incredible. I know that students have come from USC, NYU, and just come, up, come into the lab and just gone, this is unbelievable. Having been here for 10 years, I've seen people come here and with nothing and make incredible movies by the end of the year. So that would tend to suggest to me that these other film schools are really dragging it out. We're trying to, we tried to create something and the college has made it possible to create a film school that is so affordable that you have that mobility in your film career when you graduate. I had been definitely interested in film before, but I didn't realize you could actually go to school, except for, you know, you see in the back of the Rolling Stones or something, you know, you can, you can go to school, but it's going to cost so much money, and it just seems so intangible that to find something so easy and right here was amazing to me. It makes it affordable, accessible, um, creates an avenue for people's creative endeavors that, that you wouldn't expect in a small town in Arizona. People go to these four-year universities and spend $40,000 to go to school for a, for a year, just one year. Go to Zaki, it's an awesome program. Just put the rest of the money towards a movie you want to make. We've been vacated from the building until we get the uh, certificate, so hopefully we get it soon so we can go in and shoot. That was a big year for me, and I turned 21 that year. I was 21 when I first started. So it's, it's amazing to think that it's been seven years since I've started school here. So I actually started helping out when I was 20. So it's been basically my whole adult life I've been involved with Zachy Gordon. Give me the first line. Tis often the earnest and unknown. Uh, Tis often the earnest and unknown. You're wearing many hats and you're kind of steering the boat and I think a good director um, is going to have a vision but not know everything and um, collect a team and surround themselves by people who uh, have something to bring to the table and bring to the vision yet be able to check in and discern and, and make sure they're making the right decisions and so that's something that really speaks to me a lot. If you can't get along with other people you're going to be an, a very independent filmmaker because you're going to be doing it all on your own. But if you want a lot of pe people to see it, you know, it's going to take quite a few people to make it. I mean, that's just kind of how the formula works. You know, you um, shoot it by yourself, you kind of watch it by yourself. After it's over, <laughs> you want a lot of people to see it, and you have a lot of people working on it. When it came time for me to be the cameraman, we adapted a, you know, we literally built a, a fashion and ability to put the camera right on to the wheelchair so I could be a cameraman and not have to use the tripod at times. and. Um, people were just incredibly sensitive to whatever I needed, you know, to whatever adaptive situation was going to be. It wasn't hard to arrange my life for school. What was more of a challenge was becoming a beginner again, not knowing anything and having to learn from scratch and learn from my mistakes. <laughs>